everybody. Today we're going to talk about sensuality and making um, your love making a more sensual experience. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because the more you tune into your senses, you know, sight and taste and smell and all of that, um, the more pleasurable input you're going to get during love making and the more your partner is going to enjoy making love to you. Gentlemen, if you're not tuned into your senses um, in the bedroom, then you're going to hear things from your partner like you're not present or it's kind of like making love to a robot um, or you're just using me for my body. That's the kind of stuff you're going to hear. And ladies, if you're not tuned into your senses, he's going to say it's not that much fun to make love to you because it doesn't seem like you're enjoying yourself. So um, obviously this is a great skill to cultivate and bring to the bedroom. And how do you do that? Well, this is a problem for most people because we spend so much time above the neck, meaning we're thinking all the time rather than feeling and tuning into our bodies. So to counteract that, then during the day, make sure you take time to be aware of your senses. So what are you looking at? What's beautiful? The sky, um, perhaps. And what are you tasting? And what's the texture and the feel of that food in your mouth? And what are you hearing? Maybe there's music that you're really enjoying. And that just helps give you practice to tune into all these aspects of your body. Now, before making love, you may find it helpful to massage each other. Couples like to do that because that's a really quick way to get out of your head and into your body. Or you might want to take a warm bath um, or do some yoga stretches, but whatever helps you be more tuned into your feeling and less tuned into your thoughts. And that's today's 60 Seconds of Sex. <laughs> 